Hey fellow Fall Dwellers, Sneaky here, and today we'll be taking a dive into 8 of the must-have new mods released in October for Fall 4 on Nexus Mods. So I'll be doing a lineup of 3 new armor mods, 3 new weapon mods, along with a spooky new creature replacing mod, and a new HUD mod. So if you enjoy this showcase, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll also be streaming another spooky game tonight with some Thief 2 at 10pm Eastern, so come say hi and stay for a while for the spooks and scares if you dare. Now let's get into the first mod for this week. For our first mod today we have the 3039X2 Fall UI HUD preset by VR3039X. This mod adds a simple and minimalistic Fall UI HUD preset that offers a variety of features wrapped in a sleek design. This preset is enhanced from the author's previous presets while retaining their core functionality. The layout is optimized for third-person shooter gameplay, divided into two sections for a better focused view. Enemy info is located at the top center, while player info is at the bottom left. So, the key features customized from the Fall UI HUD include Health Bar Displays health percentage for easier tracking of active effects, such as Auto Stim, Bolstering Legendary Effect, and Nerd Rage Perk. Crouching slash Danger slash Stealth Displays percentage to indicate how long to remain crouched before moving or being detected by enemies. Enemy Bar Displays percentage and divided into four 25% segments to show enemy health progression for tracking enemy health and status, e.g., mutation, instigating, execution, or legendary effect, etc. Quick info access adjusted to work around Fall UI HUD limitations, allowing you to easily peek at essential details during combat. And last but not least, color scheme. The white part of the UI uses your chosen UI color, with some hard-coded colors, blue, red, orange, and yellow. For the second mod today, we have the MW Range Watcher by Heroic Pi. This mod adds the Modern Warfare Range Watcher outfit from Modern Warfare 3, and it can be crafted from the chemistry station. So there wasn't much of a description with this one, but I will say that this serves as a stylish new armor mod, and another nice new addition to the other Modern Warfare mods we've seen released this year. So I'll be wearing this one while I go over the first weapon mod for today. I'll just show it off a little bit here first so before moving on to that. So very nice looking new armor, especially on my companions. Now let's get to the next mod today. Over to the third mod today, and we have our first weapon mod today with the VWR Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum Revolver by Oh Dear SKR. Vanilla Weapons Redone Reimagined, a complete 44 Magnum remake. The author had already released three textures, but that made them want to completely remake the whole gun so it's finally here. There are also more features that the author is planning on adding to it, like more barrels, grips, sights, maybe even cylinder variants, maybe some uniques. Do note there is one known issue where you have to recraft sights between some of the barrels, so just keep that in mind. So overall this is a great looking remake of the classic 44 Magnum, and it will make the vanilla weapon a lot more appealing to use. So I'll just show off a little bit of gameplay here, testing this one out with the new textures. Okay, so I'm going to test out the new 44 Magnum out at Trinity Plaza here. Okay, there should be some super mutants in here I can test this out on. Oh, nice. See some of that new HUD as well. Oh. Oh, I may not hit him yet. I think I can get Mr. A Stranger. Oh, I guess I don't need him. Oh. And also, I'm introducing Face Cam into the gameplay 
intestine parts, if you're wondering. Well, there wasn't too much to fight in here, but this is very powerful, as you can see, though. So, let's get to the next mod today. On to the next armor mod today, and we have the USS Beltway by Gemini Void. This mod adds Beltway's armor, as seen in Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, to Fallout 4. So, here is another character from Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, Beltway. He was the demolitions expert for USS Delta Team, or Wolfpack, as they are known. Do note, though, that this armor doesn't have a unique female model currently, the same as this author's vector armor. Though the author does say that they're planning on adding female support in the future. This armor is craftable at the chemistry station with no requirements. You will also find two variants of this, one that uses a glow map on the eyes, and another that doesn't use it, so I will show off both of these on these two characters here. And lastly, there is also an Xbox version for any console players that are watching that's linked on the mod page. So let's get to the next mod today. Now for the fifth mod and second weapon for today, and we have the Modern Warfare 2019 Dragonov by Winter2198. This mod adds the Dragonov from Modern Warfare 2019 into Fall 4. This weapon is a Soviet workhorse chambered in 762mm x 54mm R. This gas operated semi automatic sniper rifle allows for rapid follow up shots. As for requirements, it requires Stooge's COD modding framework version 2.1 or above to be installed, otherwise, you will have pink textures on this, along with the see through sculpts mod. So, I will briefly show some gameplay testing of this weapon before moving on to the next mod, and I will have a timestamp for the next mod if you'd prefer to go right to that. But before we do that, I do have another mod by Winter2198 that we've done before with the Modern Warfare 2023 BAL27, which you can check out in this video here in the corner. Okay, I'm going to test out the Dragonov here at Big John Salvage, if the game allows me and doesn't lag like crazy. Oh, come on. There you go. Jerk. Oh, there's quite a few of them here. I love this new HUD I have here. Oh. Oh, shit, he's tough. Mystery Stranger, I haven't had him in a while. Guess I'm not gonna get Mystery Stranger. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Do y'all see this thing? What kind of weird ass glitches ass. I don't know why Mystery Stranger never spawns anymore. This weapon's powerful enough anyways. Okay, that's some good testing with this one. I'm gonna test out the next weapon the rest of the way here. I'm gonna be doing some testing with this weapon here. It's a Hub City Auto Wreckers. Oh, it's Ultron. <laughs> An ass Ultron. Oh. Okay, there's quite a few gunners here. There you go. Yeah, these gunners are no match for this weapon. Get out here, perp charts. Good time for that shit right now. I'm trying to fight gunners. Oh, bitch. Get bent. Yeah, there you go. Stupid hull. Oh, this is great, this weapon. <laughs> right? Okay, let's lower this crane here. Still a few left up here. Nice. Okay, I should just leave one left up here. Oh, what kind of weapon do they have? Shit.
Nice. On to a Shrimpler mod, and we have the Assault Gas Mask Replacer by GhostDog45. This mod replaces the vanilla Assault Gas Mask to have a more realistic model than its vanilla counterpart. So, in game, it replaces the model of the Assault Gas Mask and it also changes some stats. It offers an improved radiation resistance to 25 and it also has added Railroad Wave and Legendary slots, along with it being ESP flagged ESL, so it won't take up any of your mod slots. We've also done multiple other mods by Ghost Dog before, such as the Sheriff Preston's Elfish, which is a personal favorite of mine, so you can check that one out up here in the corner if you're interested. Now, onto the next mod for today, for the seventh and last weapon mod for today, and we have the Doom-based Desert Eagle Reborn by Tia Kuto. This mod adds an updated version of Doom-based Eagle with a couple of additions, updated textures, and new animations. Nothing more, nothing less. This was a project the mod author did for the hell of it. Shiny Haxorus had a mod that used the same rig as Doom's to his animations, so they simply re-rigged it into his mod and did the usual modding process. The simplicity is what people liked about Doom's Deagle, so this stays true to it. However, DQ does provide a little more in the way of options to personalize your hand cannon. So this mod includes standard semi-auto receivers, two barrels, four grips, two magazines, a suppressor, glow sights, two reflex sights, a scope, and four additional mat swaps. It will also spawn on Brotherhood of Steel soldiers, raider bosses, gunner bosses, trigger men, and railroad agents at level 20, and Minutemen will get it at level 30. We've also done quite a few other mods by this author before, and you can check out this one, the M1903 infantry rifle, in this video here if you're interested. Now let's get to doing a bit of gameplay testing for this one before getting to the last mod today. Okay, so we're here again at Big John Salvage to test out the Desert Eagle Pistol, the last weapon for today. Ugh, really? Jerk. Okay, so this is not as powerful as the last weapon, but still good. Bullshit. Man, I disarmed him again. Taught him. Oh, I hear a bomber over there. Oh. Oh, I got him. Good. GG. Okay, there's only a few left to take out now. I'm pretty much just ignoring all BS's stupid little encoding overloaded warning now. I like that you can see the percentage on the... how much health they have now. It's a good test note with this weapon. I think Mr. A Stranger is broken or something. He never shows up anymore, for some reason. Here you go. And you're left now. Very good accuracy on this one, too. Nice. Okay, it's just one left. A Primus up there. Back here. Shed. Okay. I had to whip out my other weapon to take the rest of these guys out. Oh, there's quite a few still left. <laughs> Boy, I better heal. So, despite having to change my weapon midway through, this is still a very powerful weapon. You now, it doesn't do nearly as much damage as the Dragonhoff, but it has very good accuracy and it's really good in bats. So, let's get to the next mod today. Oh, look. 
quantum right stack. The go. Oh, where is it? I think drank too much to cook all quantum clearly. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I did not know they could do that attack. Crit it. There you go. <laughs> that right stack drank way too much Nuka Cola Quantum, <laughs> which made it crazy. Don't see one of those every day. <laughs> you also don't see flickering bushes every day. On to the eighth and last mod for today, and we have the Call of Duty World War II Zombie by Oinlin. This mod brings a terrifying ghoul edition just in time for Halloween. So this very fitting for the season mod is a mod that replaces Feral Ghoul Reavers with this zombie here. It is a model from Call of Duty World War II that was ported over into Fallout 4. So I will spawn a few of these in and fight some of them in some gameplay footage here just to show them off in all of their spooky glory before finishing off the video. Oh, that spawned them in. Oh god. That's creepy. Oh, look at those things. Oh. Oh, they know I'm here now. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Right, as you can see, Frogal Reavers are now even more terrifying. <laughs> if they couldn't get even more terrifying, they're all legendary too. <laughs> I spawned in a bunch of them. Oh, we got some good killing on some of them. So, there we have it, Fault Dwellers and Wastelanders. Those are the eight of the must have new mods released in October for Fall 4 on the Nexus. So, if you enjoyed this mod review and would like to see more like this, then make sure to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will be streaming this Saturday, tomorrow night, with another spooky Thief 2 fan mission for Spooktober. And remember everyone, stay sneaky!